I'm Colin from Teradek, and today I'm going to be talking about the newly legalized Uni5 range of radio frequencies, also called the 6 GHz range. RF environments are really challenging these days. There are so many wireless devices in use during production. The question is, how do we navigate and troubleshoot such interference-heavy environments? So what is radio frequency? RF is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, which comprises of everything from cosmic rays to the light and colors you and I see every day. Think of the electromagnetic spectrum as a natural resource. Physics dictates that we only have a finite number of frequencies. In regards to RF, governments around the world have chopped up those frequencies into ranges and limited their use. Some ranges are reserved for emergency or military applications. Other ranges are available for use with a government-issued license. But only a small number of those ranges are available to be freely used by the public. These are the ranges that are used by our consumer devices. Now, during production, we use multiple RF devices, wireless sound, wireless lens control, DMX lighting, on-set Wi-Fi networks, crew phones, iPads, laptops, now camera to cloud devices, and of course, our wireless video devices. Now, those are just devices that we actively use. There are also a variety of signals bombarding your shooting location with which you have no control. This could be police or emergency response, radar, retail or residential Wi-Fi. Because of this increase in frequency, frequency coordination and or a frequency coordinator are becoming very important on set. We need to identify all the frequencies around production and then we need to define which department is allowed to use which frequency. This will limit interference. Think of this kind of like walkie channels. Now, whether or not you use a frequency coordinator, the first step is to identify what frequencies are around you. Devices like this, a spectrum analyzer, will help you to do that. Now, the devices that I listed, they typically fall within two different kinds of ranges, a 2.4 or a 5 gigahertz range. Bolt has always used the 5 gigahertz range. So using this spectrum analyzer, we can see frequencies along the x-axis and we can see power output along the y-axis. Now the power output represents our congestion. Standalone spectrum analyzers can be expensive. So Teradek offers a spectrum analyzer as part of its Bolt management app. You can see what frequencies have the most interference, and then you can use Bolt's fixed frequency options to limit its use to only those frequencies you deem best in your specific environment. Now here's the good news. Governments around the world are opening up a new range of frequencies for public use. This new range is called Uni5, but you can call it six gigahertz. For Bolt, this means 12 new frequencies to help you pick the best one in your area. Now, on the spectrum analyzer, you can see that 6 GHz channels are super quiet. When 6 GHz is available in your country, all you have to do is update your bolt, and you will then see a new 6 GHz mode. All bolts are region locked, but when using the Bolt Manager app, your bolt can automatically switch between different regions. Meaning, if you bought your bolt in the EU, but you're shooting in the US, you will see the frequencies that are available in the US and not the EU. RF environments are really challenging. Teradek Bolt gives you the tools and the flexibility to tackle any scenario.